Initially, CJ's hearing loss affected us in a big way because everything that we planned for, dreamed of, knew to do as parents had to kind of be put on a back burner and we had to learn this whole new thing. We suddenly had people coming in to work with him hours and hours a week and here was my three and a half year old who had been an only child all of a sudden going, whoa, where do I fit in? So there was, there was definitely some anxiety for him. There was anxiety for us because we didn't know how we were supposed to raise him and work with him and communicate with him. As time passed, it became very obvious that he was just a little bit different and really the only thing he couldn't do was hear. Now it really doesn't impact our family at all except that we put a lot of effort as a family into educating the public and the community so that there's more of an understanding and acceptance of diversity in general, not necessarily just hearing impaired kids. Well, I have two sides of the family. My mom's side you know, their family, they're deaf. All of them are deaf. So, man, they were they were excited about that. The other side of the family, my husband's side of the family, most of them are hearing. They were like, wow, they were kind of shocked. And, and they realized that they've got to, you know, do some more. But they finally accepted it. So it was great. Kate's uh, hearing loss has affected, I think, uh, my relationship, my husband and mine's relationships and um, social relationships immensely. Um, we've learned about a whole new community that we never knew that was out there, the deaf community, and and we've become more aware, I think, uh, about, about the plight of many, many people. I think that it's actually helped Bob and I become more uh, philanthropic and more um, interested in, in, in volunteering and, and helping in the community. Um, I think it's also affected Kate, not so as much, but just I think it has affected Kate a little bit because, you know, we're still a little bit hesitant to get her swimming lessons or, you know, there are always things that she might want to do, such as gymnastics lessons or things like that. That we're still not quite sure how that's gonna how how it all works and how what, what how we're gonna do it. So <clears throat> I think that there are some things that Kate she doesn't realize that she's deaf. She doesn't realize anything is different about her than all of her other friends. But there are some things that she can't do that her little sister can. And Mallory's hearing loss has I would say minimally affected our family. I mean, we being so little that she's only two. I mean. A lot of talking is, you know, I mean, I guess supposed to be picking up now about it anyways, but um, she communicates very well with her body language and with her, her facial expressions. And so any type of effect it's had on our family has been very minimal. And she's, it's been a little different, but um, we, we pretty much know what she, what she wants when she, you know, communicates with us. Well, it affected a lot on being careful with him, teaching him what, at first, as a little baby, he would say, you know, little sign for water, you know, he wants some water, he want to eat, you know, and we highly took concern about that, you know. But to the process of uh, having this teachers come to school, and then teaching my son now, it's more speaking, more, but trying to make sentences. When before it was just that, 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 it to make no sense at all. So everybody was concerned and that extra tension here, you know, he has to uh, tend to love and care. But I kind of, kind of glad that uh, we can get away from that and to get down to the nitty gritty to teach him more and take time to teach him.